it's that time of year, folks. Excuse me. I was going to go to the coast. I'm sorry, I've got the 70 to 200 on and I've got the head of this <laughs> Benro in a completely alien position. Yeah, sorry, where was I saying? What was I saying? Yes, I know. We're going to the coast, but there was mist forecast and we have got a bit of mist. It's very strange mist because it's sort of lying along the road and not down here. But there is just enough to make woodland doable for me because I do need mist. I've come down to where am I? Well, I was going to Padley Gorge, but then I thought, no, I'm going to go to Padley Gorge. Surprise view, or surprise view quarry, or Lawrence Field quarry, or whatever it is you call it. And we're getting a little bit of autumn colour. The ferns are just starting to go. The trees, again, just starting to go. So there's a little bit of atmosphere. And as I've walked through the fields, I've seen this group of now <laughs> I'm kind of guessing they're silver birch but the, the trunks are very dark so maybe they're not but they stand out from the surrounding trees because of the dark trunks let me show you hold on now I'm going to disappear down here I have no idea what you can see I want to try and get a little bit of height, because I'm only a short ass. That bunch there, we've got some leaf turning oranges, which again contrast quite nicely. Sorry, I'm getting eaten alive here with the dark of the trunks. There's very little behind, so they stand out really well. I'm shooting at F3 point something, rather 3.5 I think it is. No filters not even a polarizer means we have no light so i figured a polarizer wouldn't make a huge amount of difference um and i've isolated the right hand three the one with a branch sticking out to the right i've isolated those three and then i've included those three plus the next two with the part of the tree that's got the leafage on it leafage is that even a word i don't know but I think for a first shot, I'm quite pleased with that. It's a very cold looking morning. It's warm, it's 13 and a half degrees, which begs the question why I've got my jacket on. I've got my jacket on because I think the midges are gonna be out. I really don't want to end up covered in midge bites. But the atmosphere is blue because of the mist. turning into one of those days. I'll come back up a little bit higher to try and get into some of this mist. And I've seen this sapling, I'm guessing it's a sapling, and it's a silver birch. Yes, a silver birch. And it's still got a lot of greenery on it, but it's got the odd speck of yellow on its leaves. And to the right hand side, there is a, an older silver birch with all the silver of its trunk showing leaning in slightly. The sapling with the greenery on it is leaning to the right, so we've got that effect, and I quite like that. But again, I can't make an image out of it. I'm trying my hardest. I started off shooting way back there, but then I got the bottom of this curved one in, which I wasn't keen on. And then I moved over here. And I still got the bottom of that one in, <laughs> and I got this one in as well. So that didn't really work either. But I love that tree, and I'm still shooting f3.5 to try and get a little bit of separation between 
the subject and the background, but it's not working. <sighs> and there is a little bit of mist in the background, and it is a very little bit. So I thought that would actually come through in the image. I'm not disliking it, but it's not jumping out at me. But perhaps that's because I'm used to seascapes. And I keep looking around, trying to see, always look behind to see if you've missed a composition, because sometimes walking towards a composition or a subject, you go, hmm, nah, that's not going to work. And you turn around and go, oh, actually, yes, like that. Hasn't happened so far today, but you never know. So I'm just going to play around here for a little bit, see if I can find a different point of view on that tree, because I do like that. Now, over there, it gets too lost in the trees at the other side. And likewise there. That's possibly... Hmm... We'll have a go. It's digital. You can always press delete. By George, that's it. Excuse me. I moved, literally, a foot to my left. And... It sort of all fell into place. I lost the curved tree trunk on this side, the bottom of which I was getting in. I'm zoomed in enough that I'm not getting the left hand of this pair of trees in. I've just got the sapling with its leaves curving over to the left and the white trunk of the, um, <laughs> say vehicle then, the tree behind it leaning into the right. I'm still playing with the polarizer. It's not actually making a huge amount of difference on this one. It's just lightening, maybe it is lightening the bottom up a little bit. I'm at 1 25th of a second, still at f3.5, trying to get some separation. Let me see. Yeah, it does make a smidge of difference. Just could do, <laughs> never happy, are we? Just do this, just do that. Could do with a little bit of light coming in. And it's well past the time that the forecast said the fog was going to go. So we're doing well. Yeah. I think I'm just going to brighten that one up a bit. I'm looking for an airy and light image. That's better, rather than dark and mysterious. I think I want to go slightly lighter today. And even though I am shooting at f3.5, if I can get this thing to zoom in, it's not like my fingers, this camera sometimes, the tree that is my main subject is beautifully sharp. And bizarrely, the silver birch is pretty damn sharp as well. But the trees in the background have all fallen off. Cooking with gas, we are cooking with gas. Drop the white balance down to 62.50, and I think we're too blue. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe that's better. Oh, well, I've got a choice. I've got one with a higher white balance and one with a lower white balance, so we can play. Right. Let's go find somewhere else. I've walked back out into the open because the mist was coming down more out here than it was in there. I was just talking to another photographer and he says the top is absolutely clagged in. You can't see your hand in front of your face, but it's just not dipping down. But I thought if we're in the open, we might find something. And as I've walked along the bottom track, this is the commonly walked path into Lawrence Field Quarry or surprise you, whatever you want to call it. And I've seen these three trees, this huge right hand one, and they're staggered both in height and the colours and green or foliage left on them. The right hand one has got very little and is quite a dark trunk, but is the tallest of the three. And the right hand branch is coming out 
almost top right hand corner of the image. The second one in slightly smaller, a little bit more foliage, but it's all gone a, a dark colour or a darker colour. And the third one is a little dinky one and it's got an orange and yellowy glow about it. There's a nice bit of mist in the background. It's separating quite nicely. I've got quite a lot of this fern area in the image, which I'm not 100% keen on. I'll have a look when it gets on the big screen. But yeah, as I've walked out, I've just gone, that's an image. I've tried shooting this way because I've seen a couple of subjects. That I thought, oh, they might work. But the, the mist isn't there and I'm just not getting the separation that I need. As I say, some people don't need separation. Simon Baxter being one, Mally being another. <laughs> they seem to have this knack of making woodland images out of absolutely nothing. I'm not at that yet. And I don't spend enough time in the woods, to be honest, to hone my skills. But I still enjoy the odd trip down here. And when it's foggy like this, you have to make the most of it because you just don't know when another foggy day is going to appear. They normally happen when I'm at work, which is really frustrating. I keep saying to the boss, if I don't rock up one morning and it's misty, I'll be in as soon as the mist's lifted. She didn't look very happy. <laughs> that's me about done the the mist has gone back up to the top and whilst there are lots of birch tree up there birch silver birch yes yeah, silver birch I'm just not feeling it as I drove through this morning there didn't seem to be a lot of the autumn color yet less autumn color up there than there is down here there's a beautiful oak tree there that probably needs another two weeks and it will be perfect can I make a composition out of it? Can I? Hell is like. Anyway, I was meaning to say, uh, somewhere along the lines of, it's nearly flipping the middle of October. What happened to the rest of the year? Um, it's coming up to that time of year again, and I'm putting a shout out for your photos. They can be portrait, landscape orientation. They can be shot on a phone, a pinhole camera, Alicia, whatever you like. They can be of macro, landscape, architecture, seascapes, your big toe, if you so desire. Send it me in. The email is in the description somewhere. Uh, lynnjphotography at outlook.com, I believe it is. I could be wrong on that one. <laughs> um, pop at me in not too big a file size because i need to make them all up into a video for the end of the year and this is my way of saying thank you to you guys and girls let's showcase some of your amazing work because i know some of you are absolutely phenomenal photographers thank you for sticking with me this year it's been a bit sort of hit and miss what with one thing and another um, i'm not going to be doing a book this year i think with the cost of living crisis still continuing and fuel costs still spiralling although I know they have dropped but they are threatening to go back up again I don't feel it would be the right thing to do might bring one back next year uh, and that's it so yes ping me your images across they don't have to be a massive file size they can be as I say any orientation you like landscape or portrait really doesn't matter they can be HDR black and white selective colour whatever you fancy so long as the image means something to you. It might be the first image you've ever taken on your brand new DSLR or your mirrorless. It might be your newborn child or your first grandchild or your first holiday abroad or your first slug. It really doesn't matter. So long as it means something to you, drop me a few words about it and let me know what it's been shot on just so I can put some information up for everybody else to marvel at your amazing images. And that will be going out might be for Christmas, might be between Christmas and New Year. It all depends on how the cookie crumbles with time. So that's it. Thank you for coming along. I think I've got two images that I really like. <laughs> I say that and then I get them on the big screen and go, oh my God, what have you done? Uh, and that's enough for me in Woodland. Yeah, the mist is sort of coming and going. 
it's dropping down a little bit. I might loiter around and put up any extra images once I finish rattling. Yeah, so thanks for coming along. Have a great week, guys and girls. Look forward to receiving your images. Toodaloo!